Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Uh, it's been a couple weeks ago now, I think it's a little less than that, about 12 days ago, that I did a video on this lighter. This is the Emco uh, that is now, it was purchased by a Japanese company, the Emco was, and they do the manufacturing for these in China. And these come in a variety of different price ranges, so you can get them from really cheap to fairly expensive. I've seen some of them that were like $75, and then I've seen them as cheap as like 15 So it really kind of depends on, on uh, what you're looking for. So I went into detail on this video and if you want or on this lighter if you want to check out that video you can check that out right here. So it's been like I said 12 days and I wanted to see how the fluid retention was on both of these lighters. So this is my personal Zippo that uh, I intentionally did not use during this period because I wanted to see how well each of these lighters held up. Now I will say that the Zippo has uh, you can get more fluid in it per refill uh, but it'll be interesting to see if this one lights up so here we go well that's not bad after 12 days and we just adjust the chimney there you can see it still has a really nice flame so I'm pretty impressed with that this one and I want to say also I don't think I got this one completely full uh, just to do the initial testing on this one, I probably filled it up maybe a little over halfway, maybe a little bit more than that, but I know I didn't saturate it uh, all the way. So it's kind of impressive that that fired up after 12 days, not even having, not having even been fully filled. Now to fill these, you pull the barrel out and the top here will seal the top of the barrel where uh, the wick is. So it actually is formed Let's just open that up. You see it's barreled out there and it kind of forms perfectly around that in order to create a better seal and to snuff out the flame. And then to fill this, you pull the bottom cap off and that exposes your cotton or you can fill the lighter. And I must say that that seal on that barrel is really nicely done. And so it's not hard to believe that this can hold in uh, fluid for longer periods of time so pretty impressive after 12 days not a problem so let's see how my zippo did now i will say that i don't use this zippo for doing tricks so i assume that this lighter is going to light right back up uh, a lot of times and i've just started to notice it on this when you start getting wear in your zippos you can see my hinge is just barely starting to separate now like i said i don't do tricks with this one that's just normal wear and use and this is kind of one of the flaws of a Zippo, but Zippos to me are just iconic. I love the click of them. I, I love the shape of the Zippo, everything about the Zippo. And I know that there are probably better lighters out there. Uh, this one is just, I don't know, I like it. I, I like the feel of the Zippo. Uh, I like the sound of it. It's just everything about it. So 12 days, I haven't used this one either. Let's see how it lights up. And you can see that Zippo also retained pretty well. Now, if you have a Zippo and you notice that you are losing fluid more rapidly than what you think, probably more often than not, it's probably going to be because the hinge is starting to wear out, much like this one is, a little bit of separation. As that hinge starts wearing worse, that separation can become even more drastic, and usually that will be the root cause of... of uh, fluid evaporation in the Zippo lighter. But nonetheless, I wanted to check both of these to see how they did after 12, well, almost two weeks. And uh, both of them light right back up. So pretty impressed with the Emco because obviously it's gonna take less fluid than the Zippo. And I'm certain that I didn't fill it up all the way. So pretty good lighter. And they come in a wide variety of price ranges. I've seen them from, like I said, 15 to I think I saw one, it was like 75, maybe even $100 for one of the Emco versions. So uh, they can range from relatively inexpensive to relatively expensive for just a lighter. But it's a nice looking lighter as well. Just want to give you guys a little update. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one.